What is RSS? Really simple syndication. Technically, RSS is a format used to provide subscribers with new content from frequently updated websites. So if you have a blog or a podcast, your website visitors can subscribe to your RSS feed. But did you know that you can create an RSS campaign and send your content directly to your subscribers' inboxes on a weekly basis? Yep, it's happening. Let me show you how. By now, I'm sure that you know how to create a campaign, but let me show you one more time just in case. Go to campaigns, click on create campaign, give it a name, and this time we'll choose the RSS campaign, then save and continue. This type of campaign is perfect if you have an active blog and want to send the articles directly to your subscribers inbox. Fill the campaign details and then save and continue. To connect your blog, enter the URL of your RSS feed. In the RSS settings, you'll need to add the RSS feed you want to send to your subscribers. In most cases, the RSS URL is your domain address slash RSS or slash feed. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to add a feed from WordPress. Now, when you look up this URL or paste it in a new window, you'll see just a bunch of code, but when you integrate this into a web page or a campaign, it will actually integrate the articles or items on your feed into the page. Once it's found, add the subject line and click next to go to the RSS settings. Here you can decide how often you want your campaign to be sent to your subscribers. Do you upload daily, weekly, or monthly content? Choose the option that suits you best and you can also set a time. So say you post all of your blog posts on Wednesdays around noon, then you can set your campaigns to be sent once a week on Wednesdays at around 1 p.m. New blog posts or new items will always be at the top of the campaign, but here you can also choose if you want the campaign to include only the new posts in your RSS feed. You can also send yourself or someone on your team a notification every time a campaign was sent to your mailing list. Add the email address here and click next step. I'm going to start my campaign design from scratch. I'll choose the drag and drop editor here, but you can always start with one of the RSS templates and modify it. Now I want to only show you how the RSS feed works in this campaign. So I'm going to clear the content in this document, except I'm leaving the logo and the footer. And now I'll drag the RSS content blocks. Each one of the RSS content blocks has a different design and you can choose which one you'd like best for your campaign. I'm going to stick to the featured article feed and now to modify the design, click on the edit icon. In the content section, you'll see the RSS feed URL that is integrated into this campaign. If you check this box, the articles or link in this campaign will open in a new tab. Here, you can choose how many articles you'd like to feature in each campaign. In the settings, you'll be able to modify some of the design values like the paddings, the fonts, colors, etc. In the RSS settings, you can change the layout of the articles and you can choose what information you want to be displayed in the campaign by checking or unchecking these boxes. You can also choose the width, style, color and size of the dividers between articles. And lastly, if you want all of these modifications to apply to all of your future articles, check this box right here. Save and now let's quickly preview this campaign to make sure that we're happy with the design. I'm pretty content with it. Now click done editing and here we'll need to choose the subscribers who will receive this newsletter. I'll choose all and then next step. Here you can review everything one last time, then click next step, then schedule, and you're good to go. Your RSS feed will be sent to your subscribers in a campaign once a week. Quick note, you must publish at least one new article on your website for your newsletter to be sent. If you haven't added any new blogs, there will be no newsletter sent. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click the bell button below so you don't miss any new tutorials. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, 
Twitter and subscribe to our newsletter. The link is in the description section below. Have an awesome day or night and I'll see you in the next video.